Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss an example to implement breadth first search traversal technique. So, for this given graph, we need to find the breadth first search traversal. For the same example, we have implemented the breadth first search traversal using tabulation method. Now, we will discuss the second method that is step by step how we will implement this breadth first search traversal technique and we will find the output. So, the procedure to implement BFS traversal technique is initially consider one vertex as the starting vertex and insert this vertex into the queue and mark this vertex as visitor. Next step, consider all its adjacent vertices to the currently visited vertex and insert into the queue in alphabetical order because if there is more than one vertex in the sense, we need to break the tie by considering in alphabetical order. So, in the alphabetical order only, we need to insert into the queue. So, once you have visited the vertex and we have inserted all its adjacent vertices in the queue in the sense, remove this vertex from the queue and place it in the traversal output. Next step, visit the next vertex in the queue and consider all its adjacent vertices and insert into the queue if it is unvisited. So, every step we need to consider one vertex and we have to mark it as visited and we need to consider all its adjacent vertices. If it is unvisited, we need to insert into the queue. Once that particular vertex is visited and we have considered all its adjacent vertices and we have placed into the queue in the sense that particular vertex we can remove from the queue. So, this procedure continues until we need to visit all the vertices in the given graph. And finally, we will get the BFS traversal output. That is the order of visiting the vertex using VFS traversal technique. So, first step. In this given graph, initially we need to consider one vertex as the starting vertex. So, here I am considering vertex A as the starting vertex for this given graph. So, here there are two disjoint graphs. So, first we will find the breadth first search traversal for this graph. So, here in this graph we will consider the starting vertex as A. So, step 1. Start with starting vertex A. Insert A into the queue. The current vertex here we are considering it as A. So, the vertex A we need to insert into the queue. What is the data structure we are using in breadth first search traversal? Queue data structure. In depth first search traversal, we will use stack data structure. Okay. So, here we are considering starting vertex as A. So, this vertex we are inserting into the queue and mark it as visitor. So, now we have visited vertex A. Next step, consider the adjacent vertices to A. So, the adjacent vertices to A are D, C and E. All three vertices are adjacent to A. So, which vertex you will visit first? In alphabetical order. Okay. So, we will break the tie and visit the vertices in alphabetical order. So, adjacent vertex to A is D, C and E. So, now we are going to insert D, C and E into the data structure Q, right? And we will visit vertex C. So, among these three vertex, alphabetical order, we will visit vertex C first. Next D, next step E we will visit, okay? So, break the tie and mark C as visitor and now, we have considered all the adjacent vertices of A. So, delete A from Q and we have to place it in the traversal output. So, here we are going to insert the adjacent vertices to A that is C, D and E. We will consider in alphabetical order and we have removed the vertex A from the Q, right? So, A we will place it in the traversal output. So, this here we will consider it as traversal output. So, A we have visited as a first vertex. So, I am considering it as 1. Okay. This is the second step. Now, we have visited the starting vertex in the Q data structure that is nothing but C. So, mark C as visited. So, this is second step. Next, third step. Currently, what is the vertex we have visited? Vertex C. What are all the adjacent vertices to C we need to consider? So, adjacent vertices to C are D and F, right? So, D is already we have placed into the Q. So, no need to consider D. And the remaining vertex we have to place it here. Since we have visited C, we need to delete C from Q. And we have to place it into the traversal output. A, 
first we have visited c second we have visited what are all the vertices currently in the queue already it is d is there e is there and now we are considering the adjacent unvisited vertices to c that is d and f d is already there in the queue insert f into the queue f is the new unvisited vertex so insert into the queue and here the starting vertex in the queue here is d mark it as visit next is step 4 what is the current vertex we have visited d is the current vertex we have visited so consider its adjacent vertices so adjacent vertices to d if you are considering in the sense it is a and c both a and c already it is placed into the traversal output so no need to consider we need to consider the adjacent unvisited vertex only right so now what are all the vertices in the queue d already we have visited we need to delete d from the queue and the remaining vertices are e and f is there in the queue and currently mark e as visited so already in the traversal output a is there c is there now we have to place d as the third vertex right next step 5 consider the adjacent vertices to currently visited vertex currently visited vertex is nothing but e adjacent unvisited vertex adjacent vertices if you are considering in the sense vertex a f and b a is already visited f is already we have placed into the queue but f is unvisited so we need to consider here right so adjacent unvisited vertex to e is f and b f is already there in the queue so insert b okay and since we have visited the vertices e and we have considered all its adjacent vertices we need to delete e from the queue so we have deleted so currently f and b is there currently we are going to visit the vertex f right and in the traversal output what are all the vertices a1 c2 d third vertex e as the fourth vertex we have visited now so this is the queue and this is the traversal output so now we have visited the vertex f yes, this is the current vertex we have visited in step 5 next sixth step we need to consider the adjacent vertices to f adjacent vertices to f are c e and b c and e already we have visited and we have placed in the traversal output so no need to consider c and e consider b but b is already there in the queue so place b into the queue so mark b as visited and we have deleted f from the queue since we have visited the vertex f and we have considered its adjacent vertices and we have placed into the queue also okay and now the traversal output is a1 c2 d3 e4 and f as the fifth vertex we have visited next is step 7 consider the adjacent vertices currently visited b okay next step consider the adjacent vertices to b adjacent unvisited vertices to b if you are considering in the sense f and e f and e is already visited so no need to consider now the queue is empty and in the traversal output a1 and we have deleted b also since we have visited and we have considered its adjacent and visited vertices okay so now traversal output is a1 c2 d3 e4 f5 and b is sixth vertex we have visited okay so now if you are considering this graph is over and the outer graph if you are considering in the sense this is a disjoint graph to this graph so both are not connected so if the universal vertices remains in the sense what we have to do we need to restart the vfs again okay so step 7 since universal vertex remains unvisited restart the vfs traversal technique and here consider the initial vertex the starting vertex for this graph we need to consider it as g and insert g into the queue now g we have placed into the queue and mark g as visitor and traversal output is in this step it is same only a1 c2 d3 e4 f5 and b is 6 okay next step consider the adjacent vertices to the currently visited vertex currently visited vertex is g adjacent vertices to g is h and j right so now we need to insert h and j into the queue and since we have visited the vertex g and we have considered all the adjacent vertices to g we need to delete from g okay so now in the queue we have to place h and j only currently 
the first vertex in the queue now is H. So mark H as visitor. So in the traversal output, place G. So already this is the output and here we need to insert G as the seventh vertex we have visited. Right? So now in the queue, currently we have visited H. Next step, we need to consider the adjacent vertices to H that is nothing but I. Okay? So here I we need to insert into the queue and we have to remove H from the queue. Since we have visited the vertex H and we have considered its adjacent vertices also. Okay? Now in the queue, if you are considering the first vertex is J and mark J as visited now. And the output here is H as the 8th vertex we have visited now. Right? Next step. Currently we have visited the vertex J. So we need to consider the adjacent vertices to J. So adjacent vertex if you are adjacent unvisited vertex. Okay? So adjacent unvisited vertex is I only. I is already we have placed into the queue. No need to insert anything. Okay? Now currently vertex I is there. So mark it as visited and we need to delete J from the queue. Right? We have deleted. So the traversal output here we will get it as J as the ninth vertex we have visited. Okay. And currently we are visiting the vertex I. Its adjacent vertices if you are considering in the sense no unvisited adjacent vertex to I. So no need to insert any vertex into the queue. So delete I from the queue. Now the queue is empty. And here if you are considering the graph we have visited all the vertices. Now the traversal is completed and the traversal output what we will get it in the sense A as the first vertex, C2, D3, E4, F5, B6, G7, H8, I9 and the last vertex sorry J9 and the last vertex we have visited here is I10. So this is the BFS traversal output for this given graph. And this is the procedure to implement.